over the last decade or so, we've uncovered the genetic basis for many diseases, including atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is an interesting disease in that there is a whole spectrum of, of disorders. There are forms of atrial fibrillation that run very tightly in families. And these are usually atrial fibrillation disorders that, that come on early, early in life. So if you've had atrial fibrillation from a very early age, and by very early age I mean less than 35 years old, the chances that it is genetic or strongly genetic are, are, are very high. Uh, there, there are usually in those families just single mutations in one gene that can cause atrial fibrillation. And that get, gets passed on in a very, what we call dominant way, which means that if your parent has had the disorder, then you, you are at a 50% risk of inheriting the disorder. Now the most common form of atrial fibrillation, however, doesn't come on until late in life. And in that situation, uh, there is still a genetic component. It's not as strong as if it had come on when you were er earlier in your life. But we are, as, as we speak, uh, conducting studies that are uncovering more and more genes that contribute to the, the disorder that comes in on in later in life.